Yahusha, Joshua 14. And these are the countries which the children of Yashereel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar, the priest, and Yahusha, the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Yashereel distributed for inheritance to them. By lot was their inheritance, as Yahuwah commanded by the hand of Moshe, for the nine tribes, and for the half-tribe. For Moshe had given the inheritance of two tribes and a half-tribe on the other side of the Yardan. But unto the Leviim he gave none inheritance among them. For the children of Yosef were two tribes, Manasheh and Ephraim. Therefore they gave no part unto the Leviim in the land, save cities to dwell in, with their suburbs for their cattle, and for their substance. As Yahuwah commanded Eth Moshe, so the children of Yashereel did, and they divided Eth the land. Then the children of Yahuda came unto El Yahusha in Gilgal, and Caleb, the son of Yephana, the Kenazi, said unto him, You know the thing that Yahuwah said eth unto Moshe, the man of Elohim, concerning me and you in Kadesh Barnea. Forty years old was I when Moshe, the servant of Yahuwah, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to espy out eth the land, and I brought him word again as it was in my heart. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made eth the heart of the people melt. But I wholly followed Yahuwah, Elohei. And Moshe swore on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon your feet have trodden shall be your inheritance and your children's forever, because you have wholly followed Yahuwah, Elohei. And now, behold, Yahuwah has kept me alive, as he said, these forty and five years, even since Yahuwah spoke this word unto Moshe, while the children of Yashereel wandered eth in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. As yet, I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moshe sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now for war, both to go out and to come in. Now, therefore, give me at this mountain where Yahuwah spoke in that day. For you heard in that day how the Anachim were there, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so be Yahuwah will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as Yahuwah said. And Yahusha blessed him, and gave unto Caleb the son of Yephunneh, eth Hebron, for an inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Yephunneh, the Kenazi, unto this day. Because that he wholly followed Yahuwah, Elohei of Yashereel. And the name of Hebron before was Kiryat Arbar, which Arba was a great man among the Anakim. And the land had rest from war.